All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do an additive blending to certain events that will give off uh, like a glow look. It's pretty nifty and like especially in a sci-fi setting where you can give like the illusion that like things are glowing like signs and things like that. Anyways, here's an example. As you can see, the computers are all turned off. No power is going to them because there's an issue. In the game, you would normally find the fuse and then stick it in and it would work. But I'm just directly going to show you what happens when it turns on. These are another example I'm going to talk about with additive blending. It gives the illusion like those are actually glowing, but it's an event and I'll show you how to do it. There they go computers are turned on and they kind of have a glow effect. The screen is flickering. Alright, so in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go to this event right here. And I use the same image as I did for when I originally did the map. Honestly, for this specific event, you wouldn't even need to do that, but it gives you a good guideline of what you want to do. So, I chose the same frame and then you go to type of route custom which is under here hit route and as you can see we have blend mode additive which you can find down here change blend mode instead of normal additive and what additive does is it kind of gives like a burn illusion like a color burn or color dodge effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity to, let's say, 150, weight, 100, weight, 50, weight, 100, weight, and then it goes back to 150, so it gives it a full rotation. And after you do that, it'll look like it did on the playthrough. So with the computers, what's different about those is when you started out the game, the screens were all turned off. In order to have them turn on, the switch needs to be turned on. So you'd create a switch. Obviously, you could just write up anything. It doesn't matter what it is. And then you would have it conditions turn on. So this won't show unless that switch is on. And to turn on that switch, I access it, I access it through an event. So when turning on the system or whatever, at the end of the event or beginning or whenever you want to do it, the switch is turned on. See. Control switches, single, switch on. Operation on. So after the event's done and everything's you know the way it should be, these will turn on. And when they are turned on, I do the same thing as I did for the other tile. Custom route. I change the opacity a bit for the computers, but it's pretty much the same concept. Well, I mean, that's pretty much all you need. I mean, when you're doing like a sci-fi game, it's a pretty important thing, I think. At first, when I did it, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sure how exactly to do it. But that seems like to be like the easiest way. So hopefully this helps somebody when they're making their game. And if I have another tutorial, I'll upload it later. Thanks for watching.